Here we are in the Delaware Bay. Welcome to the Cape May Luz Ferry. We're traveling from Luz, Delaware to Cape May, New Jersey, the state's southernmost beach town. Come with us as we explore the Jersey Shore in search of sun, fun, and secondhand trains. Our journey finds us on the Cape May Luz Ferry for the 17 mile crossing of the Delaware Bay, connecting Luz or Lewis, Delaware with Cape May, New Jersey. Cape May is a charming seaside town with upscale shopping and dining. We stopped for lunch at Quincy's Original Lobster Rolls. It's a great spot to grab lunch, then sit on the patio watching the hustle and bustle go by. The classic lobster roll was one of the best we've ever had. We drove north on Ocean Drive, along the park-style seawalls and protective dunes ribboning the beaches of the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean Drive becomes Pacific Avenue as we reach the Wildwoods. This is a family-friendly town with what are easily the cleanest beach and boardwalk we've ever seen. We throw our bags in the room and hit the beach. The Wildwood shoreline continues to grow every year. Our sand chairs on the water's edge seem like miles from the excitement of the nearby boardwalk. Coming off the beach, we stop at Max Pizza for a slice and a cold Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer, a perfect match. Next, a quick drive to scout out tomorrow's main event, the Holly Beach Train Depot. There it is. This classic model train shop closes at four We'll come back tomorrow after breakfast. We took a sunset walk on the beach. The reflections of the sky and the ocean blurred together in perfect harmony with the peaceful sounds of the breaking waves. A friendly seagull joined us on our walk. Dinner is a little of this and a little of that as we walk from end to end on the two-mile boardwalk before riding the tram car all the way back. The boardwalk is a buzz with family fun and activities. A round of miniature golf is always fun. There are all the food choices you would expect and plenty of shopping. There are arcades. Classic games of chance. And rides for all ages. There are vendors of beachware, beach equipment, and funny t-shirts on every block. In the busier sections of the boardwalk, you can always hear the polite warning of the approaching tram car. Watch the tram car, please. We wonder if the driver hears that in his sleep. Don't forget to grab some fudge, saltwater taffy, and caramel corn at Wildwood icons like Douglas Fudge and Laura's Fudge. We head back to the room for a good night's sleep after a full day of sun and fun.
we begin the next day with breakfast at Surfside West Diner. It's a classic beach diner on Wildwoods, New Jersey Avenue. Much of the furnishings are restored vintage pieces that are lovingly maintained, but the menu is a mix of breakfast classics and specialty dishes to excite the palates of today's discerning foodies. We had the ricotta cheese pancakes with blueberries. They were amazing. The Holly Beach Train Depot occupies two storefronts on Wildwood's Pacific Avenue. There is also rumored to be an extensive Wildwood themed layout under construction above the store that is not yet open to the public and has never been filmed. We met Larry Lilo, the founder and operator of Holly Beach Train Depot. Wildwood, nineteen forty five to nineteen sixty nine. He gives us the history of the store and a personal tour. I wish I had more space for it. This iconic Wildwood model train shop also produces a line of custom O gauge rolling stock. Here are some of them in action. The sound on it. Yeah. Holly Beach Train Depot has become a classic destination retailer. Do you run DCS? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The store's unique offerings attract customers of every age and background. There is a huge inventory of model trains of different types and gauges, both new and secondhand, and everything you could need to create your perfect layout. As our visit ends, we are invited to visit the Wildwood theme layout upstairs. If you help me get a quick shot of my layout, I can take All right, up that up somewhere. Yeah. Why don't you have to stay there and watch the store I come to? All right. Anybody Jennifer volunteers to watch the store. Woo, that heat out here. The excitement and anticipation was immediate. You'll be the first one to video it. The layout is fantastic. This is wow, we're 1945 to 1969. There are vignettes commemorating Philadelphia. Philly up here. This is Philadelphia up top here. And New York City and the Garden State Expressway, linking both cities to the New Jersey shore. The detail of the custom-made boardwalk is world-class, as is the collection of O-gauge trains lining the walls. Our search for second-hand trains has taken an unexpected turn as I am now inspired to create my own layout boardwalk. It's impossible to build a boardwalk layout without the classic sightseer tram. The sound, watch the tram car, please, is something everyone knows who's ever been to Wildwood, New Jersey. The first edition is the sightseer boardwalk tram car. There's great meeting you. I appreciate you taking the time to show us your shop yeah. and your impressive layout. Yeah, thank you. Really fantastic. We take a drive through the city of Wildwood. Its beach ball inspired water towers are a fun detail. There are numerous little parks throughout the town and all are immaculate. Each one has an ultra lifelike statue that could easily be taken as a live person. Just another fun touch. This town is so family friendly. After a short tour of the well-kept neighborhoods, we found ourselves back in Cape May at the famous Lobster House. It's a sprawling facility with numerous dining options. We chose outdoor dining on a restored schooner. The menu options were limited. We ordered local Delaware Bay oysters, lobster salad, steamed shrimp, and their version of a crab cake. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. 
lobster salad. Take a bite. It's not a Maryland crab cake by any stretch of the imagination. It's more of uh, I don't even think it's all blue crab. We'll limit our recommendation to the oysters and head back to Wildwood. It's the last night of our trip and we take an evening walk by the surf. This beautiful moment is just part of the hobby lifestyle, the big crab cake lifestyle, the lifestyle that led us on a search for secondhand trains that took us on an adventure to a classic East Coast beach town. Wildwood has a lot to offer and we've experienced so much in a few short days. We will definitely come back again. Check back to the Big Crab Cake channel for more Wildwood videos, or better yet, subscribe. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Big Crab Cake channel.